the American sitcom Happy Days, was introduced to us in January of 1974 on ABC. The series ran until 1984 with a total of 255 half-hour episodes. The series began as an unsold pilot starring Ron Howard, Marion Ross, and Anson Williams, which aired in 1972 as a segment titled Love and the Television Set, which was later retitled Love and the Happy Days. All this was done for ABC's anthology show Love American Style. It was without a doubt one of the most successful shows of the 1970s and was created by Gary Marshall, who is a visionary in television production. The story takes place in the mid-1950s to the 1960s in the Midwest of the United States. It stars Ron Howard as Richie Cunningham, Henry Winkler plays his friend Fonzie, Tom Bosley and Marion Ross are Richie's parents, Howard and Marion Cunningham. Richie's father owns a hardware store, and his mother is a traditional homemaker and mother. He has a younger sister named Joni Cunningham and two absolutely crazy friends named Potsy Weber and Ralph Malf. Fonzie is a high school dropout, a greaser, and a suave ladies' man, and he eventually becomes Richie's best friend and the Cunninghams over the garage tenant. Fonzie started out being a secondary character in the series, but as the series progressed, he proved to be one of the favorites among the viewers. So the storylines were quickly changed and rewritten to reflect his popularity. When Gary Marshall was first approached by Paramount to create a new sitcom in 1971, they envisioned something set in the 1920s or the 30s. Marshall told them that he knew nothing about flappers, but he could write a show about the era in which he spent his teen years and young adult time, the 1950s. He put together a pilot about a Midwestern family that just purchased their first TV set, the first one in the neighborhood, and how their teenage son planned to use it as a chick magnet. The problem was the series didn't sell, and like so many pilots that didn't work out, they were moved to a dumping ground, which was a show that was called Love American Style. The series creator wanted to call it Cool instead of Happy Days. The test audiences that they ran the show before said that that name made them think of cigarettes. One of the producers said, that they should call the show Happy Days, that the basic premise of the show was that, happier days. Ron Howard wasn't really looking to do another series. He had recently enrolled at USC's School of Cinematic Arts with the goal of becoming a director. He had a small problem nagging at him, though. He had a low draft number. Yeah, this is when the draft was still in action. By this time, Uncle Sam wasn't handing out student deferments to college students. And there was a real good possibility that Howard could go to Vietnam. But there was a loophole. If he was employed with a company that had more than 30 employees, there was an exemption for these people. Luckily, Paramount was a large company with enough employees that would be completely out of work if their star was drafted. So that's how Ron Howard signed on to play Richie Cunningham. When Henry Winkler got the call back after his first audition for the role of Arthur Fonzarelli, he was completely taken back when he saw that another contender for this job was the former Monkees drummer, Mickey Dolenz. He immediately thought, oh crap, I'm never going to get this job because Mickey Dolenz is here. Dolan's was Gary Marshall's original choice to play Fonzie, and this was because of an appearance that he did as a biker on the TV show Adam 12. But the problem they had with him is that he was six feet tall, which made him tower over the five foot nine Ron Howard. So Henry Winkler was deemed a better fit for that role, and now you can't imagine it done any other way. Henry had a terrible time reading his scripts 
and learning his lines. He had struggled in school as a child, no matter how hard he worked and applied himself. This caused his self-esteem to plummet. He wasn't diagnosed early with dyslexia, but at the age of 31, he found out what his problem was. When he auditioned for Happy Days, he only had six lines, which he completely made up because he couldn't read them right. The producers said, that's not in the script. They pointed this out to him numerous times, but Henry Winkler was thinking on his feet and replied, I know but I'm giving you the essence of the character. And if I get the part, I'll do it verbatim. By the time of Happy Days, it had become a cliche for greasers, hoodlums, etc. to always be combing their hair. Henry Winkler argued against doing this on the show, saying that it would make the Fonz look like an ordinary hoodlum. On the spur of the moment, Winkler made up the gag where the Fonz goes to comb his hair, looks in the mirror, and shrugs as if to say, my hair is perfect. I don't need to comb it. The gag got a really big laugh from the studio audience, and this led to it becoming a Fonzie trademark. Although the character of Fonzie loved motorcycles, Henry Winkler was terrified of him. Most of the scenes of Fonzie riding the motorcycle were shot with the bike attached to a trailer or some type of platform, and being pulled by a truck. Fonzie was definitely the lifeblood of this show. As the series became progressively more successful, Gary Marshall was approached and was asked if the show could do anything that would help convince kids to read. In one episode, the Fonz decided that he would go to the library and check out a book, despite his reputation as being not someone who was an academic, but someone who was streetwise. Fonzie's response to this was that everybody is allowed to read. It's been said that after this episode aired, the issuance of library cards went up 500% across the country. The problem with this story is that it's not accurate at all. This is a complete urban legend and is still told to this day. But in reality, it didn't happen. Initially, ABC feared that Fonzie would be perceived as a hoodlum or a criminal, and they stopped him from wearing the leather jacket in the very first episodes. You'll notice at that time, he wears a non-threatening gray windbreaker. The original windbreaker resembles the jacket that was worn by James Dean, who is Fonzie's idol. The studio gave in later on, and the leather jacket was introduced later, and it helped make Fonzie a TV icon. Henry Winkler states that he based some of Fonzie's movements and speech patterns on Sylvester Stallone. Winkler had ended up working with Stallone in The Lords of Flatbush, but he vowed in his role as Fonzie that he would never comb his hair on camera and he wouldn't have a pack of cigarettes rolled up in the t-shirt sleeve, and he never did. Happy Days was so popular that Rock Around the Clock went back on the pop charts after 19 years from its original release. The song by Bill Haley and the Comets was number one in 1955, and it reached number 39 in 1974. Many of the names used in the show were inspired by Gary Marshall's real life. His wife went to school with a kid named Potsy Weber, and Richie Cunningham was a nice boy who attended the same church as he did. Fonzie's name, however, was originally supposed to be Arthur Mascarelli, which was Marshall's original surname. However, the MASH just didn't work as an abbreviation of his name. It didn't have the same ring as the Fonz. So Marshall changed it, and the rest, as they say, is history. It's always a blast to see reruns of this classic 1970s show. Take a look back at Happy Days. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.